Greetings from a very hot and sunny Gloucester. As we take these moments in the quiet space, my prayer is that we will be aware of God's holy presence and experience his love and peace. Lord, in these moments, may we be aware of you. Would you come to us and open our eyes to see you and our ears to hear what you have to say to us? Last Monday the 19th was so-called Freedom Day in England, the day when all restrictions that we've lived with in recent months have been lifted, or sort of. We're being urged to consider the impact of our actions on others, which must be hard for those who have never been encouraged to live this way. I was reminded of a little chorus I learned as a child, sung to the tune of Jingle Bells, you might want to give it a go, J-O-Y, J-O-Y, surely that must mean Jesus first, yourself last, others in between. As we in England are being released into an unknown f world of freedoms, I'm acutely aware that there are people in other parts of the world who are coping with excessive heat, wildfires, droughts, flooding, civil unrest, war, and a pandemic. For the first year of the pandemic, I was a very small part of the worldwide prayer network Unite 714. Every day, people around the world committed 714, morning, afternoon, or both, to pray. This concluded some months ago, but I've been challenged to daily prayer for our world using online resources. Often it's heartbreaking to see tragedies unfold and be unable to do anything about it. Without being overly political, I am desperately sad to see my country cutting our overseas budget. I know the economic arguments, but in this needy world, we surely should be stretching out our hands generously, even if that means having a little less ourselves. As this horrible pandemic continues its devastating march from country to country, we see just how interconnected international travel and global communications have made us. This pandemic and natural disasters have opened our eyes to recognise that we're not only interconnected, but interdependent. The amazing vaccines that have been discovered, made and distributed have been an international co collaboration. Wonderful things happen when we're prepared to work together, when we realise how interconnected and interdependent we really are. I'm both comforted and challenged by the words of Jesus that we find in St Matthew chapter 25. But when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit upon his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered in his presence, and he will separate the people as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He'll place the sheep at his right hand and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you fed me, I was thirsty and you gave me a drink, I was a stranger and you invited me into your home, I was naked and you gave me clothing, I was sick and you cared for me, I was in prison and you visited me. Then these righteous ones will reply, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink, or a stranger and show you hospitality, or naked and give you clothing? When did we ever see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will say, I tell you the truth, when you did it to one of the least of these my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. Then the king will turn to those on the left and say, Away with you, you cursed ones, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his demons. For I was hungry, and you didn't feed me. I was thirsty, and you didn't give me a drink. I was a stranger, and you didn't invite me into your home. I was naked, and you didn't give me clothing. I was sick and in prison, and you didn't visit me. Then they will reply, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and not help you? And he will answer, I tell you the truth, when you refused to help the least of these my brothers and sisters, you were refusing to help me.
Oh yes, J-O-Y, J-O-Y. Surely that must mean Jesus first, yourself last, and others in between. May God be with us and continue to bless us, giving us eyes to see his world as he sees it, and ears to hear the cries of the hurting. God bless you. Thank you.